It's a big. It's a big. Oh my gosh. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another delicious vlog here on the LFG channel. We're starting out the morning strong. Not everything runs smoothly all the time. I have some sarcasm and I haven't had my coffee yet, so I apologize. I'm waiting on Lunkers right now to come over because we step out and towards the light's gonna fade a little bit, but my boat is right there and I'm trying to hook it up to my truck, which is over here. Gotta have a flashlight out here. We're getting ready to leave. We're trying to leave as early as possible because it's gonna be super hot today. I get in the truck to start the said truck. It looks good. Sounds sounds good. Then we go to turn this key over here. Go to turn that key. And we just got nothing. We got deadly squats. So I was gonna meet him on the road, but instead, now that we got the dead truck situation, I'm gonna meet him uh here. He's he's coming right here right now to bring his truck, and then we're gonna jump my truck, and then we're gonna go. So hopefully this doesn't take too much time because we're trying to get on a top water bite and then uh, get some fishing in before it gets super hot. I think I'm gonna fire up the coffee pot, get some get some good juices flowing, get some free range coffee flowing in my life, and then we're going to jump the truck. The reason why, the reason why <laughs> my truck is dead, and I remember last night I was coming in and I had Stephanie with me and her window was still rolled down. I, I hit the ignition just for, just for the power to turn on. She rolled her window up and then I shut my door and I never completely turned the truck off, so it's my fault. Or if you wanted to get technical, it's, it's OSG's fault. I'll blame it on Steph. No, I won't, it's my fault. Take responsibility in your life. Things will get done. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Thank you. It's Rob, the shadowy figure in the night. It's our breath, creating an irresistible attraction. When insects approach, Dynatrap's quiet, powerful vacuum fan. Whoa, he sucks them in. Cage where they dry up and die. <laughs> Things are moving. Things are moving. Despite complications this morning, we have made it to the lake. Appreciate your kind jump start service this morning. If you ever ran out of gas, just give me a call. I'll help you out. Let's give her a dump and see what the, the day holds. I don't know what it really holds. I don't really know. I farted him on face. Oh my gosh, I smell it from here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Wow. It, wow, your fart is literally I'm just... Pretty, I'm sorry, it was it's like on a calm day, it's not good. Calm day. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Right now, we might try some top waters. We're gonna see where this bait is moving. The water temp, as of right now, 77, and the water is clear. Let's put the hammer down, see if we can go catch something. Let's see what we got here. Think it's gonna be a stripey? Yeah, yeah, it's a stripey. Oh, he's got more underneath. Oh, does he? Does he? More okay, let me hold. Go ahead and hit that spot lock. Oh, get to your face here, sir. Okay. First fish of the day right there. Stripey, swallowed it. Okay, See you later. The white bass king lure right there. Just tossing it out. I bet you, look at these birds going out here, dude. Stupid. Two top water. We need to have a top water on. I got, I got one. 100%. I got one. You want me to toss one right now? Yes. You want me to toss one? You could get a massive explosion out you here. Want, you want me to toss one right now? Dude, 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 look, look, boil, boil, boil. Dude, they're boiling out here. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god, look at them. What size top? What size oh top one? Oh my gosh, dude, look at the freaking size boils. Oh my god. What? Oh, god. oh my god. This is, what I need. this is gonna be one of those warnings. Holy cow, they're going on top. Dude, dude. Oh my god, the big birds are out there. Look at them, look at them. Holy cow. Oh. Guys, first cast with the spoon. Hooked up down. Oh my gosh, dude, oh my these God. are big boils. <gasps> oh, he's looking at boils. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my God, I gotta get a top. I got a big. I gotta get a big top water on. These are big, big, big oh, fish out here. Oh. Go, got it, Rob. Get him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that boil. Look at the size of that boil. This is freaking crazy. Get him. Get him. Get him, Rob. Oh, dude, Rob's gonna get a big one right here. Watch this, guys. 
Holy cow, those are scary blow-ups, man. Scary yeah. blow-ups. Do you, do you have spooks? Yeah, I've got some spooks. I want to get them out, but I want to film this because it's so freaking awesome. Oh, we got one behind it. Oh my gosh. Look at them over here to the right. Look at them over here. Holy right. cow, Look these are the Mondos. Right. Yes, yes, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, Rob. Get him, get him, go through, right through the bird. I know, but look, look. Go, 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 Rob. What are you doing? Look. What are you doing? Look at my face. Get the hook out of your freaking hand. Degum chiggers are throwing you off. Please, just blow that out of the water right now. Oh, God! Look how big that one is. These are big boils. These could be like 20 pound stripers. Dude, oh. Oh, burrow was one. Dude, they're boiling. Okay, I gotta get a camera on. I gotta. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dude, I like, I wanna fish right now, but. What do I do? Yeah, there's definitely smallmouth that just live here on this point, but. Is that a guitar? It sounded like it. How about a succulent swim bait? We can see bait getting chased right there. There's a, there he is. Got him on top. I saw him chasing the, on top of the surface. A little better. Yeah. Look at this, this striper boat. That's a straight up striper boat. The striper's, oh. He knows. He's like, oh, they're hooked up. We gotta stop. It's like saltwater fishing. <laughs> oh gosh, I did not want that in my Whoa. hand. That's why I backed up. <laughs> All right, little dude. Looking for like the ones that are like. <sighs> That's why I'm trying to get down. Look at him, look at him, I know, him. I know. I see him. Look at him. I'm trying to get down there with him with the swim bait. It's so funny at the ramp. We were like, man, that'd be cool if we get some stripers on top water. And look. <laughs> Let's see. They're hanging. They're just in about tent. half far down. They're uh, halfway down there, ten foot. Oh, right now. just got a bite. Oh, for sure. Look at look at them. Look at them. The yeah, other ten foot down right now. You could probably come through this with a crankbait and just freaking get down. Oh gosh, swim bait fish, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Isn't it? I don't know. He's knocked the fire out of it though. He's coming at me. I don't think he's that big. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. Here we go. Things are happening now. Oh, hello, Sally. Oh my gosh, dude, that took the rod out of my hand. This might one, this might be a little bit bigger. Oh, he's running run. over here. Oh my gosh. He just missed. Dude, swim bait? Oh my <laughs> gosh, slam fest. Oh, it's a bigger one, yeah. Is it a big one? It's a little bigger, yeah. It's Crack not a giant, bait. but look at that. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, like eight pounders? Yep. <laughs> Fun times. Fun times. Holy cow, guys. Look at this. What are you going to next? Oh, gosh. Look at that in the sunrise. Look at that fat striper. Nice swim bait fish. Look at that right there. Beautiful. I stepped on it this morning. You can see these fish right here. They're suspended about 10 feet down and they're fatties. Wow. So I'm just letting this sink, count down a few seconds, about six or seven seconds. And then I'm just starting to retrieve and I'm stopping it. One, two, three, four, five, stop it. Just kind of gives it a little yo-yo effect through the school. 10 foot down. There's another one right there, just boiled. Look at them all down there. <sighs> Jack down the I'm gonna get crushed almost every single cast, I would assume, if I can get it right in the face. Look at that. <laughs> Look at all of them. Dandies. Breakfast bell. Have you ever caught a striper? Oh, oh God. Yeah. A good one? Oh, God, dude, when they hit it, it's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, it's fantastic. It's glorious. Look at that drag stripper. Oh, God. Destroying this six stick right now. Oh, yeah. That's some beef. Toad biscuits. Look at the toads. Look at this. If you don't like this, something's wrong with you. 
We got them strappers, man. <laughs> we own them strappers. Oh, it's crushed at the boat. Double hookup, man. Look at this. Double hookup. Douche. Oh, man, you gotta love it. I get, look, I, oh, that's a, that's a half decent one right there. That's oh, the yeah. biggest one for me. Probably school of 4, these down there, huh? oh, there's oh a God, few look, <laughs> look at that guys there's a bunch down there I'm still I'm still working on this guy right here oh, <sighs> oh yeah there, there's some down at the bottom I want to throw a drop shot. oh dude look at this one look at this dandy Is he big it's a big one oh, that's a big one that's that's oh my gosh Look at, look at mine, and then look oh, at Oh, jeez. I get boat flipped mine. Yeah, this one's not getting boat flipped. This is like, this is a picture fish. Mine's still, you're cranked by your carpet inside this. Dude, this is a Mondo right here. Oh. That is a, that's a big, that's one. big one. Like, I don't know how big that is, but big. it's fairly big. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of big. <laughs> That's kind of large. There we go. Wow. Holy tanker smackings. <laughs> no right the top of the mouth. No wonder, yeah. Could that was just really? stripping some line. Oh, oh God. Man, that's a tank. Look at this freaking thing. Look how long that is. That's that's literally, that's as long as my leg. Good start to the morning. Huh? Dude, Amazing that fish start. just made my day. <laughs> I mean, that's that's awesome. It's like you just want to keep catching them, just keep going in and out. That's fantastic. Put this on the scales. Just under 13. So that's a good fish. That's I think that's my biggest striper ever. It's nice. And there's some mega ones down there. There's some like 15 pounders. Oh, make sure this guy swims off. There he goes. Back down into the deeps. I mean that looks like looks like a daggum giant redfish from the ocean. I really can't remember a time I've caught one bigger. The last time we were here, we caught some toads. Oh gosh. Please be like a small mouth up shallow. You catch a tank? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, well, look at that. Look at that giant shad getting plummeted. Oh, got it. Got him? Yeah. That? I don't know. It's not big. Well, it's a skinny striper. It looks like he's emaciated. I don't think it's happening, boys. Well, if it's not happening, let's get out of here. All right. Stripers have moved on. Same. It looks like it's raining. Well, you got it that time. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they're sitting on the edges of this stuff. It went from catching like fish after fish after fish to like. Yeah. It's a... <laughs> my fault. Summertime. <laughs> I see more gills up there. You want to There's get quite a few. You want to go get them? Like, they're coming up to the surface. There's so many. Oh, got him on oh, top. Wow. Came up. Oh. He wanted it. Wow. He wanted it. Wow. Blasted it. Blasted her. All right. Hey, let's Steve, get we, this. we, we got to get her in. That's going inside. Here we go. This is, let's get this I guy this some water. really crazy. got to keep the and water cool. Got an oxygenator as well. Yeah. Those things are glorious. Good job. Man. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. This is a smallmouth. What? It's a smallmouth on a micro oh. popper, dude. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, on the tiniest topwater ever. Oh my gosh, I was popping this for bluegill, trying to get him for the tank, Gary's tank, and this guy came up and cracked it. What a little champion. See, smallmouth, 100 degrees, topwater. That's why they're crazy. That's why we love them. Okay, that is the tiniest lure I've ever used to catch a bass, but that's so awesome, I got a smallmouth. Come on, give it a dangle. Now 
last one was just like a 12. Oh, is that a 12? Yeah. Nope. That is not a 12. That is also a car right there. Yeah, it was on the cables. Ladies and gentlemen, it is hotter than a firecracker on the 4th of July. The action was hot early. Early bird gets the worm. We are here at the, the MTB house. Look at them. They're doing fine, fine and dandy. Quite honestly, it's actually cooler in my live well, I would bet, than the actual lake, because the lake was 85 when we left. And we put ice in there. They've had the oxygenator running as well. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen something like that, but there's a, a little device right there. See, it's putting out those, those bubbles. It's actually oxygen, and then uh, they've got the aerator running, which I don't know if you knew this. Actually, water making contact with air, the longer it makes contact with air, the more oxygen goes into the water. So that's why people put fountains in ponds, see it shoot up the water really high. It helps reoxygenate the water. So anyway, summertime, fish do not do well in the, in the heat, in hot water, in live wells. So you gotta do everything you can to keep those little guys kicking strong. Gary looks hungry. Wow, this bluegill's out and about. Oh wow, yeah, he's he's a going. That guy pretty much takes up the whole whole jar. He's huge. Okay, it's capped. It's good to go. It's like it's little cichlids. The, it's probably one of the weirdest ways I've ever transported fish. Probably one of the dumbest ways as well. I just didn't want to get the. What is Gary's reaction? Lake water in there, huh? Yeah, uh, lake water's probably clean. Oh, Gary's like, hey guys, what you doing in my tank there? I can't quite eat you. And there's that crazy uh, shovel nose tiger catfish. Well, there they are. There's our new friends. They were gonna charge so much at the pet store for cichlids about that size. They were like 40, 50 bucks a piece. Now look what we got. We got some beautiful native fishes. They didn't cost us anything, just uh, just an early morning and some sweat is all. Just got a little adjust here. All right, y'all, today was freaking crazy. A lot of new stuff happened. I caught my biggest striper of my life. I also caught a smallmouth on a tiny, tiny topwater, a topwater which I got for some panfish last year, and that reminded me of something. So it's starting to get so, so hot here in Texas. I thought that I might do some creek fishing again like last year. I took Ocean Spoon Girl out there. Um, a lot of y'all love that type of video. It might be time to do some creek fishing and doing micro stuff like that, like the pop art, catching panfish, little bass, even Guadalupe bass would be pretty cool. So let me know in the comments. That's something I want to do. It's something that pretty much everybody can do. Fishing small waters with shaded trees overhead in the summertime. It's good because you're not getting scorched by the sun. And shout out to Lunkers TV for making the morning happen. If we hadn't have gotten there the time that we did, if it would have taken a long time to get my truck started and everything, uh, we would have missed out on that amazing topwater action that was going on. I wish we would have got there a little bit before, like maybe 30 minutes before, uh, and those striper were just going. We were hitting them as they were coming out off the, the ledges and starting to get out a little bit deeper, and they eventually ended up in like 50 feet of water, and uh, they don't really bite then you got to really use live bait or really jig on top of them but seeing striper come up and hit top water and the flat calm it's like a cannonball it's awesome and the bass fishing wasn't much to speak of today but got to do it it's in my soul it's in my heart and soul to go catch them green and brown bass man y'all i hope you're enjoying the new digs here i am just in love with this place i really love being out here um, in the woods and just being one with nature, man, it really gets me more excited to go fishing and go do more camping, hunting stuff. This fall is going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. So you guys know what to do. Subscribe right here to the channel. Hit the ding-dongs. And if you want to go check out the family channel, you can do that. I'll leave it in the description as well. That's the Lake Life family channel. And that's basically stuff for me and Ocean Spoon Girl around the house, around the tree house over here. Thanks again for tuning in. If you like today's video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Mondo Striper Sniff PB. It happened today. Hope y'all are out there smashing them too. We'll see you guys on the next one.